Greetings, everybody. Mark from Rams up here. And as promised on our last podcast, I'm going to walk you through why it is a mistake to deduce that the Rams are going to focus heavily on the offensive line in the upcoming 2023 draft. We'll be doing this once in a while uh, as between now and the draft, diving into some draft topics with the season kind of over, at least winding down from a Rams perspective. So uh, also a reminder, please subscribe to this channel and like these videos. It's really important to us. Much appreciate it. So bear with me here. I'm going to walk you through a couple of depth charts. And the first depth chart I'm going to show you here is a depth chart showing unrestricted free agents. These are the guys that the Rams are going to have to work to resign or they will walk. And the guys highlighted in orange, yellow, whatever color you want to call that, those are starters. So uh, it kind of should, it should jump out on the screen to you here. Should jump off the screen. Rap and Scott, two starting safeties. Scott's a heck of a player. Two defensive lineman starters, Greg Gaines, Ashawn Robinson. Uh, and both of them are very good players as well. Along the offensive line, just David Edwards as far as starters go. And you know what? I'm really concerned about him. Could he retire two concussions in one year? But he is a free agent as well. And then a bunch of other guys. I don't have Long highlighted as a starter. Maybe he is. I don't know who the starter. I don't know who our third cornerback is at this point, if everyone was healthy. But uh, Troy Hill, another important starter. He could walk in all three, should have highlighted them and should have colorized themselves as well, all three special teamers. I think those positions can be filled. Uh, I'd like to see Greg, I'd like to love to see Matt Gay come back, obviously. But all three of those guys could walk. And uh, so what, what the point I'm trying to make here is the offensive line is going to remain intact as demonstrated by this next slide. Uh, these are the guys that um, are coming back, that are under contract. And I'm including on this slide exclusive rights free agents. Uh, wide receiver group is fine. Uh, we need a backup quarterback unless you're really happy with Perkins. I am not. Running back were actually okay, Akers and Williams, although I think the Rams could be showcasing Akers at the end of the year here to see if he uh, can be moved via trade. Uh, inside linebackers, okay. We got Ramsey and Floyd coming back. And uh, hey, is Quentin Lake and Jordan Fuller and Russ Yeast, can they hold down the safety spots? Maybe. I'd love to see Nick Scott come back. And look at that defensive line. Aaron Donald, and then who else? Bobby Brown, Marquise Copeland, Jonah Williams. That could be a weak unit. I mean, Aaron Donald, I get it, one of the greatest players in the history of the NFL, but he can't do it all by himself. And look at that offensive line. Joseph Noteboom, Brian Allen, Coleman Shelton, and Rob Havenstein, all opening day starters coming back. Now, I get it, maybe... Note boom isn't up to the task, and that's a concern. But I, I just think that throwing extra bodies at this offensive line group through the draft, I saw someone saying we should use every one of our picks, and I, I almost think he was serious. Uh, and, and then I've heard, hey, three picks maybe. And I could see the Rams using a high pick uh, to maybe fill that left tackle spot, uh, a mid-round and maybe a late-round pick. Yeah, I suppose. But if this group comes back healthy, I think they're really possibly only needing one spot, one guy, one stud to stabilize this offensive line. And remember, Logan Bress comes back. We didn't have him all year, and he struggled in the preseason, but I think the Rams will get him right. And Alaric Jackson played really well when he was in there. Tremaine Ankrum, could he be an answer at least as a backup at a guard spot, right? And I think Brian Allen, Coleman, Shelton, and Rob Havenstein are fine. So you look at some of these other groups, tight end I'm a little concerned about, safety, cornerback, defensive line, not so much offensive line. That's the point I'm trying to make here. And so when we get closer to the draft, we'll revisit this. And hey, there's free agency too. 
You know, the Rams could uh, restructure some contracts and bring in a stud left tackle, move mo note boom or slide note, mo slide note boom over to right guard uh, where he has performed well in the past. Point made, hopefully, that the Rams will not st overly stress the offensive line. I don't think they should. They need a couple of bodies, maybe one stud. If they do that, I think they'll be fine. And um, now I know it's going to be a lot of disagreement on that, but that's how I feel. Solidify that left tackle spot, get everybody healthy, maybe bring in a mid-round uh, interior offensive lineman. Rams will be good to go. That's all for now.